<coughs> nice. Today, I'm gonna do something different than usual. I do. I'm gonna make do a guide. Make do, yeah. I'm gonna do a guide on how to play Kindred and make some Kindred gameplays. Is that good, a smart idea for YouTube? Not sure. Just don't. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. So, what do we have in Kindred? In Kindred, we have. So, we have a. Uh, Lots of control cards, ways to save our most beloved champions, and ways to kill the enemy's most beloved champions easier than they can kill us. So what do we need in the deck? We need to have counters. This deck is not beating Arvin Kenan that easily, which is the, the top meta currently. Currently. This is uh, one of the best ones out there. How do we play this? First off, we need to play uh, Kindred as soon as possible. And Viego, as late as you can do, but you want Viego as soon as possible as well. So, and you want to save him. This is not 100% the perfect list, but it is one of the best ones. You want to mulligan the Queen Grenade Lookout as early as possible and reduce your big units like the Hydrovine or Viego. Rekindler is just kinda like a, a, all the time looking in from your hand. It's just an optional card. So what do you need most in your hand? All you need to have like uh, is a Vile Feast, a Green Gate Lookout and basically that's all. And the rest is considering an up to the enemy. We just jump into it and let's play some games. Right, this is a very good hand. Not gonna lie. The curve is real. Number two, green look out. Sandra, 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 Soldier, Kindred and Viego. We don't care mana. Just imagine we have like um, a one mana card as well. Don't consider one mana drops good in this deck because we are more focused on the late games. Let's keep it. I don't think we actually have to worry about Kindred and Piltover. This is a weird combination. Minion is a very interesting card though, though it's weakness, because it's, it's bad stats, but considering for 2 mana 2-1 that you can have every single turn, maximum value you can get out of this is like, I don't know, get 3 copies or 4. Next turn, I think he's gonna play Kindred. Because Kindred is his only Vincon, we can actually do Vengeance every every time. Shall we do one? Shall we? Turn Because I'm actually not familiar with Kindred only decks. I think it's gonna be like Turn Moon. Hmm, interesting, interesting. This deck would actually benefit from Ezreal as well, I suppose. Kindred Ezreal. Not a bad idea. Right, he doesn't have a fearsome blocker. But he has enough mana to do Terramar now. I still played it because I have no other options. So weird. I mean, he's basically just kind of killing himself with the units. If that's what he wants. I don't need to kill him. He didn't attack, so he doesn't have a mystic shot. He has a way to kill this, so we just kind of like glimpse it.
Hmm. I'm actually cur curious what to do. Hello, how was part to say Hikmet? How you doing, mate? I guess he's having no cards at all. So curious. I want to play the second. He cast a spell to kill my character. I'm fine. Let's go. Kind of survives. Stalling game with Kindred is just fine. Alright. He's gonna do that rest then. There's some uh, slumber. If you play Sledros, we can actually double up here. Pretty much. Raination, he should be afraid because I might as well have a. Um, Answers for that, maybe, but it's fine. I, I guess we just draw cards. No, drawing cards is actually real good. We got denied, which is excellent. I don't think he's gonna attack with that. Swapping targets. I mean, it's good, it's not going face though. So curious what to do here. What would be the perfect game, the perfect things to do? But I guess they're gonna do this because they don't really know anything about this opponent. Nice. Just all fees that one. I'm just kind of like want to bait out cards from him. Doesn't really do it that much. I just play kindred one. Oh, this kind of sucks. I could deny this, but for what reason I don't know. Let's use this. Stone car, so we double up units. <clears throat> uh, I guess we don't load anything. I could be attacking with this, but he places another one. I kind of want this one to die. This pair is not very good. Let's stun first, and then we do Vengeance. It's a very interesting matchup, to be honest. Okay. Rodrigo levels up. We get Ladros, and if Ladros attacks, Just sucks HV, that's fine. Are we okay with this? We are very okay with this. I want Vengeance, and then I'm gonna play my another video. You can't remove the second one, and then we open there like that. Yes, don't like that. Kinda wanted to steal Viega instead of that one, that's what we went just now. Right, he cannot kill my dude with one main mana, unless he's terminal. Oh, yeah, 
you will serve. I mean, Mystic Shell on this one will be actually good for us, it benefits us. Because then he doesn't go that for face then. Wild face, right? And now he does uh, Ladras. He doesn't do Ladras. I guess he's afraid that it doesn't kill me now. Next turn I will have the advantage. Let's go with that. He actually missed the opportunity to... Come on, Ladros. No, I basically just win the game. There's no way he can actually do anything. He cannot vengeance. Because we deny a vengeance. And if you vengeance him once more, we syncopation. We don't even need the syncopation. It's alright. I mean, he should have totally just gone for Ladras and YOLO into doing atrocity, but that's all. GG's. That's <laughs> GG again. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be serious now. This is gonna be the second part of the video. The game is good. I'm gonna be the next fella pretty easily. Right, I'm gonna be serious. So we have um <laughs> So we have um Zoe and Diana. Zoe and Diana is actually a very strong deck currently. So the way to actually beat them is uh always draw perfectly. And they do. Alright, no man no matter. We totally need like one drop or something. The seriousness really is for me, thank you. Alright, um... Pass? Because uh, he, he could buff the Pell Cascade or... I mean, this is a perfect opportunity to do a Valve Feast. Right, he does that first. I have to do that mid-combat. Or should I wait for the Kindred? So it's an easier target. I guess we don't. I'm making a blocker. And he still could do Pell Cascade maybe, but... He doesn't have it. Nice. He got him. Easy game. That's how to, how to win the game. You can't really lose this anymore. Nightfall. Oh yeah, so Diana. I played this deck a while, a, a, a what, a little bit. And I thought like it's a very cool way to level up Zoe. Was to have like lots of small units as well. It's different from the previous deck I played, like the Zoe Auction. This one has a battle late game, and that matters. It blocks with two units, it's totally fine. Hmm. Why didn't you block with that then? That would have makes more sense if you block with one and then the other. It, because it dies anyway, right? You just took four damage for no reason. So no. You could still play a Zoe. No. Right now. I think it's a pass. I think it's a pass. Because I kinda need the unit for him to place units. We both bank mana. 
think it's still a pass. Although I kind of want to play the Hydra by now. Makes sense. Alright, this is a very dope box now. Um, I could totally kill all of them. Or not do anything. I already cast like two marks, so let's just do this. I think it's time to do this. You could play two more characters, but that's fine. We're killing the T2 instead. And we have still ways to save our character. No point for blocking. Create Daybreak card. Well, I would never use that way. Level up. I love the animation of Kindred, it's so cool. Right. I think now we just kind of like go all in. It's an easy game. Easy life. Silence. Mm. Then we attack with that as well. Tell no part. Tell them where you, your apartment is. Always attack with Kindred Lost. In case they don't block properly. I'm kind of sad about this one, but it's fine. You know, this is increased. Uh, this is interesting that it grants HP and power. It should go towards the next kindred as well. Like all kindreds, the same way it used to work on 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 on, on, on Viego, right? Viego buff. Um, do I care about these damage? Because I could totally kill that one. 8, 9 damage, I think I can take it. I mean, if he passes then it's fine for us because we don't take the damage. So everything's fine with me. I could block that with, with Concussive Paw, but I'd rather just Spirit Journey. That Conchologis. Make that Conchologis Yordle go on a journey. Oh, this is nice. I mean, he could do totally a mini Earth as well now, and I can't really do that later. Done. Okay. Let's attack with both. I could attack with the um, with Viego as well, make him block that one. Right. Okay, that dragon, that Eclipse dragon is going to be the weakest now. I mean, I could actually give a spirit journey onto an encroaching mist. I would like this card to be like 4 mana instead. Well, that's alright. I guess now I'm not taking chances. Choice of a group shots. Ah, I'm keeping this, it's fine. Still fine. Right. I think that's gonna be the thing I'm gonna stun. I'm trying to kill my kindred or something. Oh, we have like box though to box all these things up. Right. It's not attacking, right? It's still not attacking with the dragon. Which is why I'm actually kind of like playing like this. Because I don't want him to attack. That's 11 damage to my face. Like, he could have actually dealt like 9 damage last turn. He chose not to because uh, he was seeing I'm banking mana. Um, how much mana do we have? Can I do stun this and this? 
And I will do that last. Lace. Last. Loose. Lease. Now let's do this. So if that gets the mark, it's fine. And then we box if he plays maybe more cards. Just for, so he has blockers. Perhaps. Because he doesn't have enough blockers. I mean, he has enough blockers for surviving. Oh no, he doesn't have enough blockers. Stat dies, so we pass here. Comet. No. They know. And we just open it. Yeah, everything. Even the spider. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, fine. Oh, that was the the one that dies. Hmm. That was a bad play. Very bad play. But anyway, it's fine. That was an interesting play. I must have not done that. He's basically increasing the stats on purpose. Plays all these units. Hmm. Why did he play that? I don't really understand. Why did you play the last turn? Is sort of baiting? Ah, uh, okay. That's 15. I guess I have to do that. I'm taking 12 damage and, and kill the other one. So I'm doing this one. This one first, and that one. Next turn, next turn I'm guaranteed winning. I'm playing the Kuchi Mist. Kusha, it's fine. Kinda wanted that to, to keep for the next turn instead, but I guess he has all the plans. Again, he has he's, uh, not enough blockers. That's 12. Is that leveling? That's leveling my Viego. Viego levels as well. Easy game. Easy game. I mean, it took longer than expected. But we leveled up both of our champions, which is amazing. We got that card as well. Easy game. Easy. A good game, good game. And voila! Look at me! A perfect content for for a movie. I mean for a YouTube video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitch. This is where I record most of my stuff. Bye!